What's up, everybody? This is hashtag Detail in the Shadow. I want to start off by saying that uh, all the LUTs and uh, all the overlays that was used in this video can be found on this website, and all the information will be in the description box. Go check it out, please. All right. Now we have the uh, filmic log footage that is ungraded uh, straight off the iPhone. Um, Want to load that? I load that right into Photoshop CS6. Okay, after that's loaded in Photoshop CS6, I go over to the adjustment layers and head right over to the color lookup. Uh, open up a color lookup layer, and what I do, I convert the uh, filmic log footage to Airy C log. I don't know why, I just played around with it, which I suggest you do, just like a zone system photography takes testing, test, test, test. Um, and then you can go ahead and open up another color lookup layer and uh, go ahead and lay over the LUT, the uh, lookup table. And I got these from the website, website mentioned before it is... Uh, Lutz.iwltbap.com. Uh, once again, that is in the description box. And after I overlay that LUT, I normally go to a cooling filter, unless you like that really warm look. It gives it a really warm look, but I like to cool it down just a little bit. I use a uh, 80 cooling filter on the uh, adjustment layer. And then I give it a little gamma correction. Um, make sure you have true blacks. A lot of people are asking me, um, why don't I have noise in my footage? Uh, I always make sure I have at least a true black or a true white. You know, you don't want reciprocity failure. That's another thing that's not really talked about in photography or videography. Reciprocity failure happens when you don't have a true black or a true white. So I always search for a true black and let the highlights fall into place. Um, then just a simple adjustment curves layer for the contrast and that's all to taste it was easy as that go over and render the video um, one thing to look out on any video or any output whether you're using Photoshop uh, anything never let the uh, never check the color manage because it will color manage and it will throw off all your colors and that's for printing rendering video anything uh, anything what have you and then um, it's just all a matter of how fast your um, computer is and how long the footage and how how large you're outputting it I uh, output at 4k went in at 4k and I output at 4k um, if you're doing 60 frames per second, which is um, something else, it won't go up that high. I tried to output it at 8K just to see what happened, but uh, this Photoshop CS6 would not allow that. And there you have it, your graded footage, or whatever you decide to shoot, whether it be a short film, a long film, feature length. Um, I think I'll just end it here by saying thank you. Uh, please give a like, please give a subscribe, and please tell a friend. Um, let them know about this channel I do a lot of work with Filmic Pro I've been using Filmic Pro for three years now and it has came a long way I love it, it's the best iPhone app best iPhone app for videography okay, thank you and I uh, love you all, thanks for the love